keep it with another quarterback. A no, starting they, quarter. We're going to go back to some starter. Oh, here for a real a player. A real player. Somebody who could offer some some upside. I want to put some respect on Joe Flacco's name. Perennially disrespected for the longest time. I mean, did y'all read that Roto World blurb? It was, it was, you know, is Flacco elite for a minute when he had that ridiculous playoff run, which, by the way, was pretty much the best playoff run anybody's ever had. It was I'm a good a, run. It was a solid run. A got, run. Him, got, got him paid. paid and set the whole market for the rest of the world. Really turned the NFL upside and he's, down. He's mostly been very mediocre for the last couple of years. But this last offense, year he had an, a, a back injury to begin the preseason. Right. He's really been worse than mediocre. He's been the worst quarterback but, in the league. Not the worst. Whoa, no, whoa, no, his, whoa. no, 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 no. Like his, his, he's like 31 and 32 out of 32 and everything that matters. I promise. I can't tell you where the stat came from. It's been a while since I've seen it, but like the worst quarterback in the league. Maybe last year he was terrible. <clears throat> it's been really no bad. way. Kaiser wasn't worse. Well, I'm, worse than Kaiser. R- regardless, like <laughs> he might, he might have been really bad last year. He was injured and he might have been. He and wasn't. Who does he, he have wasn't, on his team? To well, throw that's what to. I'm getting at. Like. In the last couple of years, there hadn't been anybody around this guy. If I wouldn't have been so rudely interrupted here, <laughs> there's not been anything around this guy to make anything happen. Like, I, you can say he's not great, and like there's a couple of quarterbacks in this league who can take people not having anybody around him and and make everybody good. Like, i.e., Aaron Rodgers. Not like obviously Jordy's good, and Randall Cobb when he's on the field's good, and Devontae Adams is is good. But the you know the knock on the Packers is, is there's always some sort of subpar talent around Aaron Rodgers, and when he's in there, he's a Super Bowl contender. Right. Joe Flacco is not that guy. No, nope. clearly. Nope. I'm not saying that he is, but like he's just been left at the bottom barrel of things, and and right now they've they've surrounded him with at least a little bit of talent. Alex Collins looks good. They got Crabtree. John Brown looks good. They got Willie Sneed in the slot. They got a couple other guys behind them. Picked they got up a, some tight ends. They got a slew of tight ends who Hayden Hurst like. Is, is probably going to be on the field a good bit because he's able to block and do things. They they then they spent another pick on uh, Andrews, Andrews, and they have another. They got Max Williams over there and Nick Boyle. They got a slew of tight ends that they're looking for something out of. Got Kenneth Dixon and Buck Allen, right? Who are are look pretty solid. Buck Might Allen be. stays looking good. He gets disrespected. You need to put some respect on his name. Kenneth Dixon looked good last night. So there's the the Ravens, you know, that de- you know the defense is going to come correct 9 out of 10, 10 times. All of a sudden the Ravens second and third running backs, they might be some of the best in the league. Right. So I mean, I just wanted to put a little I'm not saying Flacco's this awesome quarterback by any means, but I think he gets out of the 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 dumpster here and and it will will be very relevant for absolutely relevant in Superflex for sure. Well, yeah. And then I think on, even in 12 quarterback leagues, there's probably going to be some, some streaming some value. Streaming, streaming value, value there. If you're in auction, he costs you a dollar. If you're in a dra- in a in a snake draft, he's undrafted. If you're not, if it's not super flex or two QB, so really what we would need, what we need out of Flacco is Flacco to play good, so we can get those fantasy points from the outside guys, right. from the receivers and the backs and the tight ends. I mean, I'm not itching to be, but yes. The first round quarterback selection, you bring in a guy, you bring in a Heisman Trophy winner and put him on the bench underneath Flacco. And, you know, it's here you go. Flacco's upset about it and he's on fire and he's come out slinging. And Flacco's why wouldn't looked he be? Fantastic. This, they, they make, you make the comparison and what happened with Alex Smith last year. You bring in Patrick Mahomes. Matt, pa- Alex Smith has the best year of his career. He's like, well, oh, you, you brought in somebody to throw it downfield. Watch this. Right. And so let's see what Flacco. They Give got. me a healthy Flacco with some talent around him. And yeah. all of a sudden he's not 31 or 32 anymore. He's right. probably more like 10. 11. Completely retooled the offense like Casey 12, 13. said. 12, 13. Roto, Roto World is the ultimate disrespect uh, people. They pass these slighted compliments like whoa. Listen to this last sentence of this last blurb. Flacco's rekindling, sorry, Flacco's rekindled fire along with the Ravens much improved pass weaponry may make Flacco a useful QB too at times. That's what Casey just said. May no, make wait, him useful. No. He's definitely going to be useful in two quarterback leagues i'm down to have him as my second quarterback for oh sure. yeah i think he may i think he i don't makes think he may make may be useful sometimes i think he makes like, a fantastic target in two quarterbacks yeah. leagues. You, you either spend a bunch of your budget on on one good quarterback and then you go get a Tannehill or a flacco and i think you'll be just fine right well if, if we're going to go with that route for a second i'll definitely need flacco to be my third quarterback 
I gotta see. I gotta see more than what you want to over. You want to not necessarily. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're not gonna overreact this to is the other players. We're talking about Corey. no, no. You're not. But I'm not gonna. I'm, yeah, he's retooled the offense. I want to see it for more than three plays in the preseason before I'm like, okay, I'm good with him being my second it's quarterback. It's not like we've never seen him not be good before. I've seen him be the super flex league. You don't even anybody. have a second quarterback, so you take Joe Flacco all day yeah. as your second. Yeah, quarterback. Yeah, we do. We got Bortles and Dak that's, and that, Tyron that's, Taylor that's with our shared ones. With your solo team, you don't have a second quarterback. I got two rookies. Right. Exactly. And Matt Ryan, which I paid the least of any starting quarterback in the league for. Thank you very much. And I was like a sure dollar more on Alex less Smith. For well, the point is, is that if I'm playing two QBs, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on my second quarterback. And I think I can play. I can just get another one. Flacco will be startable all year long. Mm. And it hasn't just been a couple of passes. It's been all preseason. The guy's been awesome. It's been all camp. The and guy's camp, been awesome. Yep. Put some talent around him and just give me just give me a serviceable guy as my second person in Superflex. I'm going to beat you to death because I just drafted. I had... 130 extra bucks to spend on other players. I don't need a third quarterback. Yeah. Joe Flacco. I mean, you quarterbacks, a quarterback's You need three. Oh. I like to have three. You don't like you to don't have, have three. No. You drafted two rookies. I, have, I currently have three. I'm One's saying I not even three. startable. Maybe. Sometime. Definitely not. He looks like the worst quarterback in the preseason. We'll see. Oh, uh, Lamar Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Joe Flacco, you get some. R-E-S-B-C-T. Even if Corey doesn't want to give it to you. Nope, Corey won't give it to you. Corey's got some slighted over that here. That league is completely slanted toward the running backs. I spent 75% of my budget towards the running backs and tight ends. It's a running back We're tight end about league. Joe Flacco. Not your Casey sitting there trying to tear apart my super flex. We're strategy. tearing apart your 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 your, your uh, argument that you league. want three quarterbacks. You don't have three quarterbacks. Well, that not yeah, that I don't league think you have specifically. Three because I got six. I got five great running backs and five tight ends. <clears throat> Excuse me, because it's a running back tight end league. Well, whatever you got, it's a super flex. So. You got to start two. I mean, I I'm definitely want to start two, and I'll be definitely I'll be down to start Flacco all year long in a two QB. Oh, lead. I'm I'm with you 100. percent I was trying to get Tannehill as my second quarterback to start all year long with with a rookie backup and or a Mason Rudolph kind of backup deal. I'm just I'm not interested in spending a all bunch right. of money on two really good quarterbacks. I'm not interested in talking about Joe Flacco anymore. Let's mo- let's move along. We already hit the button. Let's do it. Fair enough. <laughs> 